Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. I have tried him and he never failed. I have tried him and he never failed. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Won't you trust him? He'll never fail. Won't you trust him? He'll never fail. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But Jesus never fails. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We certainly do thank and praise the Lord, uh, as I often say, for another day's journey. And we ought to praise him for our life, health, and our portion of strength, knowing that uh, God is with us and the Lord has blessed us. He woke us up this morning and he started us on our way. And we're blessed if we keep our minds stayed on him. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we certainly want to give uh, praises unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Uh, we want to uh, remember uh, men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Our primary goal and our mission um, should uh, be to seek the Lord that he'll deliver us from every uh, avenue of the enemy, and that he'll also make us effective witnesses, that we can witness and tell others about Christ, not only with our words, but in our actions and our deeds, in the lifestyle way that we live. That's your biggest uh, drawing card um, uh, that you have uh, with the Lord, the life that you live. Let your life be a testimony. And as Paul said in the scriptures, um, let not your labor be in vain. So let us pray that we'll uh, do that which the Lord has called us to do, that we'll live a life that's worthy of and befitting of his glory and honor. And also, too, let us pray uh, one for another that the Lord will continue to strengthen us. Amen. That he will galvanize us, um, that we will uh, always be found doing the will of the Lord, loving one another. Uh, let us remember those that are sick and afflicted in their bodies, those that are going through, those that are bereaving. Remember our family members and our loved ones that uh, the Lord will save them. Amen. And add to the church. Save them and deliver them. That's the Lord's purpose. That's the reason why uh, Jesus came on the scene to save that which was lost. And uh, I like what the Lord said that when he was praying um, and uh, I say it was in the garden, but uh, when he was praying to the Father, uh, when he was letting him know, he said, I've done what you asked me to do, and I have lost nothing. I have lost none. <laughs> Amen. So let us pray. Hallelujah. That, that, you know, when you stay, when you come to Jesus, amen, and you stay with him, he won't lose you. <laughs> He'll keep you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a sure thing. We're on a sure foundation. Hallelujah. You can bet your life on it. <laughs> so let us pray uh, in that wise, one for another, that we'll settle ourselves. Amen. Settle ourselves. Especially young people walking with the Lord. When I say young people, people that are just starting out uh, walking with the Lord. You can get anxious. You can get nervous. 
Amen. Because things don't happen uh, expediently as, as though you would want them to happen. But we know that all things work together for good. Amen. To them that love God. And, and the Bible says you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Amen. So let us uh, pray for steadfastness. Let us pray that we'll all um, do that which God has called us to do and to be able to wait on him, building ourselves up, as the scripture says, on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Let us pray more, uh, especially in these times. Let us pray more. Let us see the need. Ask God to show you the need to pray. Sure, ask God to show you the need to pray according to his will. Amen? Uh, it's not natural for us to pray and to seek after God the way he desires. That's why he puts an unction in you. That's why he gives you the Holy Ghost. Amen? Thank you. I like saying that. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. He gives you that. Amen? It's an unction. Amen? And, and when the Holy Ghost moves upon you, pray. Submit yourself. Hallelujah. And pray without... Uh, and pray without ceasing, pray with believing. Yeah. Amen. And you can ask God to give you that desire. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Are there any other prayer requests? Continue to pray for Cam, that the Lord will continue to heal her body. Yes, let us pray for Sister Cam, uh, that the Lord will continue to heal her body. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Jackie. Uh, Pastor, I just need prayer. Uh, I have a place. Thank you. Uh, big toe, you know, I'm diabetic. And yes. I Yes. And um, I just want prayer for that, that it'll be healed, that it'll come back to the right building. Right. It hasn't changed color or anything. It looks Thank small, you. but it feels numb. Amen. So yes. Amen. Bless Sincere Lord. prayer. Yes, Lord. Bless Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. We like to ask the church to stand. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we certainly come to you, Lord, to say thank you and to praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's made known to you, Lord. You asked us to make our requests known unto you, Lord, for this very purpose, that you may work a work in us, that you may move upon us. Hallelujah, that you might save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. And we ask you, Lord, that you bless our Bible study on today. Remember us, Lord, in spirit and in truth. Send forth your anointing. Send forth your words. Send forth your words of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord, you grant the door of utterance in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Lord, that you look upon our family members and our loved ones. Remember Cam in a special way. Remember Sister Jackie's foot in a special way. Remember her body, Lord. Touch her. Hallelujah, sin for healing, sin for deliver. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless her right now. Hallelujah, you've corrupted, you've, con you've conquered every disease and every sickness. By your stripes, Lord, we claim healing, we claim deliverance in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you continue to manifest your glory, manifest your power, manifest your presence. Hallelujah, Lord, grant us the desires of our heart. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you refill us, renew us, revive us with your power and with the Holy Ghost anointing. Grant us that spirit of prayer. Hallelujah, a spirit of fasting. A spirit, Lord, of seeking your will. Hallelujah, to lay aside every weight and the sin that does so ever to believe will be set us. Father, we thank you and we give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Shama. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a minute, Sister Jackie. Oh, come on, share. Thank you. Okay. We will renew your, your supply. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is certainly good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And he's great uh, to each and every one of us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we want to 
uh, continue our study uh, in the book of Ephesians, and now we're on chapter number four. Ephesians chapter number four. Thank you, Jesus. It's good to come out to Bible study. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And it's good to receive of his word uh, that we may apply it. Amen. Amen. That's, that's what God is after. He's after not only coming to Bible study, not, under, not only sitting up under his anointing, but uh, coming with the objectivity to apply his word to your life. That's what pleases God. Amen. That's what gives God joy. Hallelujah. When you take his word and apply it. Jesus said it on this wise. I show you who a wise man is. A wise man is one that hear these sayings of mine and doeth them. Amen. He said, when the storms come and the winds beat upon thy house, uh, it shall not fall. Why? Because it's founded upon a rock. Yes. Amen. And that rock is the, the teachings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So as we look now to the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter number four, and we want to ask uh, our pastor, our reader, if she be begin reading for me uh, in verse number one. Therefore, uh -huh. the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. All right. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, mm -hmm. endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. All right. Now, Paul, as you see uh, there, the, his introduction there, uh, using that word, I therefore. And Anytime that you look and see that in the scriptures when he says, I therefore or therefore, it literally refers back to the previous statements uh, that he made. Amen. And, and literally in this particular uh, statement, Paul is literally referring back to uh, chapter 1, 2, and 3 uh, based on what the Lord has done for us. So when he says, I therefore... You know, he says, he's talking about because uh, we have the love of Christ. Yes. Because we have been predestinated before the foundation of the world. Because we have been accepted in the beloved. Amen? That, that we were once sinners. That, that, that God has reconciled us through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Based on all of these things that God has given us, the revelation of Christ, the hope of Christ in you, and, and how God has given you an inheritance and has literally sealed you with the spirit of promise, which is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's why Paul is making these statements based on everything that God has done for you. And, and also how you were once strangers and foreigners and aliens from God's covenant of promise but have made, been made nigh uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Have, 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 uh, you were once in darkness, but now are you light in Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. And God has literally taken away all the guilt and the shame uh, of sin in your life. When you receive Jesus Christ, you've been translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. So that's why he's saying, I, I therefore, based on all of those facts, you got to know, you got to know the facts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You got to know the facts. Uh, my God, uh, uh, one thing that the Lord has been dealing with uh, me about is the fact that uh, there's, there's, we ought to think of ourselves as being special. Amen. Not thinking of ourselves as being worthless but thinking of ourselves as being special in God. Amen. Amen. That's the way God looks at us. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look at us at, at that old lifestyle mm -hmm. that we had before we came to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and God, he, he doesn't even look at your yesterdays. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, when you came to him, it was still walking, not needed and sloop footed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God looks at the finished product. Amen. Amen. God sees you as valuable. Yeah. Huh? God sees you as his child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 
glory. Hallelujah. The child of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God. That's how God sees you. Uh, he sees you through the lens of Jesus Christ who bought you with a price. Amen. He sees you through the lens of the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how God sees you. Uh, and that's how we ought to see ourselves. Uh, not beat down, but, but victors, yeah. not victims. Yeah. Amen? Uh, not, 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 not the off-scouring of the earth, but, but somebody in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's how you got to think. That's because that's how God thinks and sees you. Yeah. Amen? So Paul says, uh, I therefore, uh, the prisoner of the Lord. And when he calls himself the prisoner of the Lord, He's literally saying that, that, that uh, God called me into this thing mm -hmm. and I, I have enjoined myself to him mm -hmm. and I've enjoined myself to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a prisoner of it. I'm captive. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Lord, to do God's will concerning you. Mm -hmm. So he says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you. Yeah. That word beseech means that he begs you. Mm -hmm. Paul is begging us based on all of the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that he has uh, received of Christ Jesus. When, when you beg somebody uh, to do the right thing, it's because you know the consequences of not doing the right thing. Amen. You know that if, if, if you're beseeching someone and you're begging them, you're doing it for their benefit, mm -hmm. so that they can benefit from what you know, Amen. from what you have stated. Mm -hmm. Amen? So I beseech you, notice what he says. What did he say? I beseech you that you what? That you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Now notice, he's saying uh, uh, based on the fact that God has done all of these great things for us. He's saying, I beseech you, I beg you that you walk worthy uh, of the vocation wherewith you have been called. That word vocation there means, actually it means calling. He says, I'm, I'm begging you, I'm beseeching you that you walk worthy of the calling by which you were called. Amen? And, and what he's saying here is, is that you must live a lifestyle. God is into your lifestyle. Uh, he's all about your lifestyle. God, he's saying he wants you to live a lifestyle that is worthy of redemption. <laughs> Hallelujah. Christ redeemed us. Amen. Uh, he freed us. That's why Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Uh, nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Uh, he wants you to live a lifestyle that's worthy of the redemption of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, walk worthy, have a lifestyle, be empowered by the Holy Ghost. Be empowered by His Spirit. Let the Holy Ghost empower you. Hallelujah. To live this lifestyle. You can't live it on your own. But with the Holy Ghost, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Hallelujah. Be empowered by His Spirit. Uh, live that worthy lifestyle. Hallelujah. Live a lifestyle that is worthy of redemption, which comes through the spirit, a, a, a life uh, 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 befitting what God has done for you. Amen. Do you appreciate what the Lord has done for you? Have you ever just said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for salvation. Thank you for deliverance. And, I, and you know, I, sometimes I get it in my mind. I say, Lord, I thank you that I'm not the person I used to be. <laughs> have you ever have you ever looked back over your life huh, and said, Lord, I thank you. You may not be where you want to be, huh, but, but if you with Jesus Christ, even if you just started out with him, you should just say thank you. <laughs> oh, I thank you that I'm not what I used to be. Amen. And I thank you that you have bought me with a price and I got a purpose. And now, and now if I hold on, if I just wait, yeah. hallelujah, if I, if I do what you told me to do, yeah. hallelujah, I, I'll be that soldier that you're calling for. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I, I'm not ashamed, Paul said. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because it is the power of God unto salvation. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Walk worthy of what God has done for you. Amen. 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 Walk worthy of that which God has done for Amen. you. Thank you, Lord. If somebody would have bought me a suit, I'd put that suit on and I'd walk worthy of that suit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Christ in you. Hallelujah. Put Christ on. Hallelujah. Walk worthy of Christ. Hallelujah. My God, because God, he has been given unto you. Hallelujah. Show them all. Amen. Don't hide him under a bushel. Uh, don't put him in a corner. Uh, show him off. Let everybody know that you've been redeemed. Uh, by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, that's your calling. That's the calling he's talking about. Hallelujah, my God. What worthy of that calling. Amen. And you know, I'm getting ahead of myself, but when you walk worthy of that calling, you'll lay aside every weight huh, and the sin that does so easily beset you. Hallelujah. You'll, you'll, you'll lay aside those little foxes that destroy the vine. Huh? You, you, the Bible says the, the, the path of a just man gets brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And that's what God wants. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Christ in you. Yeah. Uh, with the Holy Ghost in you. Yeah. The anointing that's in you. Yeah. Uh, the power that's in you. Yeah. All that God has done for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, walk worthy of it. Worthy. Uh, don't, don't live a lifestyle of shame. No. Don't grieve the Holy Ghost. No. Hallelujah. Yeah. Esteem him high. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because God esteems you high. Yeah. He's called you to a higher level now. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come out from among them. <laughs> Be separate, saith the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Notice what he said. I beseech you that you walk worthy. Mm -hmm. huh? That walk means it deals with specifically your lifestyle. Huh? The environment in which you live. Mm -hmm. Amen. God literally wants you to live in Christ. Yes. Set your affections on things above. Mm -hmm. Amen. Where Christ sitteth at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Paul said, in him we live. Yeah. In him we move. In him we have our being. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, um, uh, you can go to different churches. And when you enter in, if you're spiritual, if you enter into the sanctuary, you can tell whether or not they've been praying in that place. Yeah. You can tell whether or not they're seeking after God in that place mm -hmm. by the environment, mm -hmm. by, through the anointing that's there. Yeah. You can tell whether or not the love of Christ yeah. is abiding in that place. Yeah. Amen. That's the environment by which they are living. Yeah. You can tell also if there's envy and strife yeah. and every evil. You ain't got nobody ain't got to say a word to you. Yeah. Uh, the spirit uh, that's in you will be able to discern it. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because that's how they're living yeah. in that place. Amen. 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 You follow? Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and that's, that's, a, that's a byproduct of what's in them. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, God, what's in you should be holiness. Uh -huh. uh, should yeah. be righteousness because that spirit of Christ dwells in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's your environment. Hallelujah. God said, uh, he, he got upset. No, he will say he got upset. He didn't get upset. But but remember when he, David wanted to build God a house? Yeah. He said, shall you build me a house that I may dwell in? Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. He said, everything belongs to me. Yeah. Uh, said, but, but I want to dwell in my people. Uh, I want to dwell in you. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I want to I I be in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's God's environment. Mm -hmm. You got to be cognizant. That God is dwelling in you. Yes. Amen. So don't take him anywhere. You shouldn't take him. <laughs> Y'all just know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Don't take him anywhere. Hallelujah. And do anything. And say anything. Uh, why? Because he's nigh thee. Uh, even in my mouth. Hallelujah. He's with thee. Uh, in your thoughts. He's with thee. Uh, in your actions. He's with thee. Uh, in your deeds, he's yeah. with thee. Yeah. Hallelujah. In what you say, he's with thee. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to realize that. Mm -hmm. That's your environment now. Yeah. That's where you live because God is living. 
Uh, hallelujah. Hey, glory. He's with us. Uh, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Uh, he's with us. He's dwelling with us. Uh, he's in us. Uh, I feel him in the atmosphere. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. I feel him all over. He's with us. He's with us to show himself mighty. He's with us to show himself strong. Uh, and if you live right, he'll, he'll show up. Uh, he'll show up in you. Hallelujah. If you do what he told you to do, he'll show up. Uh, he'll show up in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God. If you just praise him, he'll show up. Yeah, hallelujah. He'll manifest himself. Amen. Uh, that's why Paul was saying in the book of Ephesians chapter number 4 and verse number 1 for us to walk worthy mm -hmm. uh, of this vocation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Live in an environment, yeah. walk worthy of the vocation, the calling, mm -hmm. wherewith you have been called. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. God has called us with a calling. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And we got to realize that, that our calling is... It, it, it relates to our assignment. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has given us all an assignment. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Do y'all believe that? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He's given us an assignment. Yeah. Uh, and he wants, us, he wants us to walk worthy of that assignment. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Live, live for your assignment. Yeah. Let your assignment become what you're living for. Mm -hmm. Amen. As uh, the scripture says, as the deer panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O Lord. Amen. As 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 a deer panteth after the water brook, and, and I'm using that in this sense. As the deer panteth after his calling, mm -hmm. uh, so should your soul panteth after your calling yeah. uh, in Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. It should be the very essence or the very reason why you live. Amen. Amen. When you understand what you have in God and what God has given unto you, your waking up in the morning should be to fulfill, Lord, what would you have me to do? Yeah. Huh? That should be the child of God's primary objective. Mm -hmm. huh? And everything else is last. Yeah. Can't be second. Because if his second is competing mm -hmm. with God, mm -hmm. huh? Uh, we can't let nothing compete with God. No. Huh? And, yeah. and what God has called you to do is primary. Yeah. Amen? Y'all yeah. with me today? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And I just want you to turn with me. Uh, hold that uh, verse right there, Pastor. Go to Acts chapter 26 and uh, verse, I'm on verses 18 through 16. Thank you, Lord. God has given us an assignment, uh, one, to be a witness, mm -hmm. two, to spread the gospel, yes, three, to keep assignment, kingdom assignments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when I say kingdom assignments, I'm talking about whatever your hands find to do yes. <laughs> for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Huh? So God, I want y'all to be at this. I want y'all to, to, to kind of get this in your spirit. The first thing or the assignment that God has called you is to be his witness. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You got to live a lifestyle that's befitting of a witness of Jesus Christ. Yeah. What do you witness? That, that he lives in me. Yeah. Uh, you witness to his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Mm -hmm. Why? So that others may get saved. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And then, you know, you, you, you witness... To, to, to by, by spreading this gospel, mm -hmm. telling other people about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then you witness by, by, by keeping whatever assignment God has given to you uh, while you are living here upon this earth. Amen? That, that advances God's kingdom. Whatever it is, mm -hmm. whatever your hands find to do. Mm -hmm. Now let's go over here then to, to Acts chapter 26. And verse uh, 16 through 18. And this is dealing with the, the great apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. And Paul is literally receiving his calling. Right. And, I, and I want y'all to just 
make this generic uh, unto yourself. Amen? Make this generic unto yourself. All right? What I mean by that is put yourself in this scripture that God is calling you. All right? Go ahead, Pastor. But rise uh -huh. and stand upon thy feet. Uh -huh. For I have appeared unto thee for mm -hmm. this purpose. Yes. To make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen mm -hmm. and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Now notice what he says. Arise and stand upon thy feet. This is Jesus talking to the Apostle Paul. Uh -huh. He said, I have appeared unto this uh, per I, what say? I appeared, I appeared unto thee uh -huh. for this purpose. For this reason. To make thee a minister now notice, and a witness. Here we go. To make you a minister. That word minister means servant. Amen. The Lord has appeared to you so that you can be his servant. Amen. 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 To serve him. Yeah. Uh, when That's all about, uh, y'all heard about the book of Exodus. Haven't y'all heard about the book of Exodus? And you heard about the Passover. Y'all heard about the Passover. <laughs> and, and when you talk about the Passover and the book of Exodus, how God brought them out, mm -hmm. God brought them out so that they may serve him. Yeah. Amen. God brought you out of the world so that you can serve him. Amen. Not serve yourself. Huh? Not serve Joe Blow, but to serve God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's, and that's what God has called us out of the world. Amen. To serve him. Yes. This is your vocation. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to take some time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is your vocation. Yeah. God wants you to serve him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What the Bible says, what has God showed thee, O man? Hallelujah. What has he shown thee that you may walk humbly huh, before your God? Amen. That's what God wants. That you might walk humbly in obedience to your God. Amen. Serve him. All right. He said, make thee a minister and a what? And a witness. And a witness. Now we, we identified it. He wants you to be a witness of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and he wants you to be a, 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 a witness by living a, a worthy lifestyle, and he wants you to be a witness by keeping kingdom assignments. Yeah. Amen? Thank you, Lord. I, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but in the last years here, uh, 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 people don't work in the church like they used to work in the church. Huh? Thank you, Lord. People don't hang around the church like they used to hang around the church. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Have y'all noticed that? Uh, things have changed. <laughs> uh, that, yes, that's in all churches. Things have changed. Huh? But 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 the Bible says Jesus Christ is what? The same. Yesterday and forever. Hallelujah. You follow? Uh, it's man that changes. Hallelujah. God doesn't change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, so if he remains the same, uh, we've got to remain the same. Uh, be instant, in season, not a season. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Work around the church. Don't let nobody fool you. Uh, keep your kingdom assignments. Amen. Uh, because, because it's necessary. And as we get into the lesson, we'll see why it's necessary. All right. What he said? I've called thee. To make thee a minister and a witness. Read. Both of these things in the which I, I, you thou hast seen. Uh -huh. And of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Alright, so he's going to get some more revelation. Uh, and he's going to uh, witness to the things that he's already seen. That he's already been through. And, and he's going to go through more. Mm -hmm. Same likewise with our walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 what we've been through today... Huh? It's going to help us for tomorrow. Amen? And he's going to keep on revealing stuff to us. Huh? Every, every faith goes, you, from, you go from faith to faith. Amen? You go from faith to faith. Hallelujah with God. So, so there's no stagnation with him. Huh? If you're not moving with him, huh? you, you're going in the opposite direction. Thank you, Lord. You've got to grow in him. Move in him. He should be revealing things to you. Amen. Opening up your understanding. That's true. Uh, if you get bored in this Holy Ghost church, that's your fault. Amen. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. That's on you. Yeah. Amen. If you if you displeased and displeasured, amen. And if and if your if your joy has left you, that's on you. Yeah. Amen.
Amen? Yeah. And then you don't go nowhere. You go to Psalms chapter 50, uh, division 51, uh, and, and pray like David. Lord, uh, uh, forgive me of my transgressions and restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Yeah. Amen. Wash me and I shall be clean. Yeah. Purge me and I shall be whiter than snow. Then I can get back on my assignment. Yeah. Uh, then he said, then will I treat transgressors they wait. Yeah. Hallelujah. You follow what I'm saying? If you don't have joy over here, it's on you. Uh -huh. Amen. Because he gives joy unspeakable. Yeah. I am full of glory. Uh, even in your test, you can have joy. Even in your trials, you can have joy. Uh, even when the enemy is coming up against you, hey, hallelujah, you should get the more joy. Count it all joy when you go through divers temptation. Hallelujah, my God. We ought to give God a praise. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I ain't born over here. That kind of old shit. Hallelujah. I'm growing over here. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm getting revelations over here. Uh, you should be getting revelations over here. Amen. All right, read, Pastor. We got to move on. Jesus. Uh huh. Delivering thee from the people uh -huh. and from the Gentiles. Now that's what God does. When, when that men, Remember I said, this is walking worthy of the vocation wherewith you've been called. In order to walk worthy of the vocation, God has to deliver you from people. <laughs> Amen? Right. He has to deliver you from people. Because you're the Lord's servant. Amen. If you make yourself, in this respect, the servant of man, you're not the servant of God. Amen. Now, now, don't get me wrong. We gotta serve each other, yeah. huh? But, but the, how I serve you, God dictates it. Yeah. Amen. He's my Lord. Yeah. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. So Paul said it that way. He said, "If I make myself the servant of man, I'm no longer the servant of God." Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So God has to deliver you from people. Yeah. People want to have a hold on you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. People, people want to put their foot on your neck. Yeah. Amen. Especially if you had a close relationship with them, whether positive or negative, and they're not walking with God. Huh? God got to deliver you from them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why? Because God is jealous. Yeah. And somebody tell me God yeah. is jealous. He's a yeah. jealous God. Uh, he don't want you to put nobody above him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, who am I talking to here today? Yes. And if you if you let God be your master, you become free. Yes. Uh, from whom the Lord has set free. Yes. Uh, it's free in me. Yes. Uh, I'm free today. Yes. Yeah, I'm free to praise him. Yes. I'm free to worship him. Yes. Uh, and I know and understand my freedom. Hallelujah. And because I'm free, I can speak freely. Yeah. Uh, I can walk in truth. Yeah. You can live in truth. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't believe a hype. Don't believe a lie. No. Hallelujah. Let, let God be your master. Yeah. Uh, because he freed you yeah. from the hand of the enemy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. What's it say, Pastor? Delivering thee from the people uh -huh. and from the Gentiles uh -huh. unto whom now I send thee. Now notice, those people, those very people whom he delivered you from, he sends you back to. Mm -hmm. Amen? So you can help him. Yeah. He had to clean you up first yeah. <laughs> so, that, so that when he sent you back, you ain't doing the same things you was, yeah. you was doing. Right. Right. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm yeah. saying? When they offer you a joint, you ain't going to sit there and smoke it. Right. Uh, when they offer you some reefers, uh, some beer, you ain't going to go back and do it. Right. Amen? He, they can see the change yeah. in your life. Yeah. Cleaned up your conversation. Yeah. Before you was, every other cut word was a cuss word. Yeah. Uh, now every other word is praise him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you. That's why he cleaned you up first. Mm -hmm. Amen? There's a metamorphosis yeah. that happens. Amen. You, the Bible says, be not conformed, but be ye what? Right. By the renewing of your mind, yeah. that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Read. What's it say? Yeah. Uh-huh. To open their eyes. Now notice, he sent you back to be this witness to open the eyes. This is walking worthy of the vocation. Mm -hmm. To open their eyes. And to 
turn them from darkness to light. God wants you to live a lifestyle worthy of redemption so that people may see your lifestyle and turn from darkness, turn from Satan unto God. Yes. Amen? Amen? From darkness, which is that darkness. Now, see, thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost said, tell them really what it means. <laughs> that, 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 that clause right there, from darkness to light, means from uh, darkness is having no understanding to having a great understanding. Yeah. Having opened in their eyes so that they can see the way of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's what that light means. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. To, to be enlightened. To be renewed in your mind. Yeah. To have that aha moment. Mm -hmm. Amen? To come to a conclusion like I did. There's got to be something better than this. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's, that's coming to the light. Yeah. Uh, come, oh my God, I need Jesus. That's coming to the light. Yeah. Uh, I'm tired of getting the snot kicked out of me. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of allowing the devil to, to use me. Yeah. That's darkness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Uh, but coming to the light is coming to the revelation mm -hmm. uh, of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh, who lighted every man that cometh into the world. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. By God. By God. All right, read. What does it say? And from the power of Satan unto God. Now, when people come to the light, it delivers them from the power of Satan. Mm -hmm. The devil has power. Mm -hmm. Amen? Don't, don't fool yourself. Yeah. The devil has influence. Yes. Don't fool yourself. Amen? Amen? And, and you being a witness, a tool of God, while you walking in God's anointing, you have the ability, because we're co-laborers with him, Amen. God, God puts great responsibility on us. Why? Because he's done great things for us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he said, you got to turn people from, from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto the power of God. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you. That's a great responsibility. Yes. This is walking worthy of the vocation. Yes. Amen. Out of here. The Bible says, let your light shine. What? Before men. That they may see your what? Good works. Huh? That they may do what? Glorify your Father which is in heaven. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And notice, he said, uh, you are the salt of the earth. Huh? That means that you are the influence. You are the preserver. Amen? But if the salt has lost its savor, or it's lost its potency, or it's lost its influence, notice, it is thenceforth good for what? Nothing. Huh? If you lose your influence, my God, I feel like preaching up in here. If you lose your influence, if you allow sin to take away your influence, if you allow the enemy to take away your influence, yeah. notice you're good for nothing. nothing. You're not good for God. Nothing. Amen? Because you've lost the very thing which he has told you to use to be a witness unto him. Amen? That's, that's, now, if you think about that just for a moment, how great that is, yes. how great your influence is, yes. amen, you won't give it up. Mm -hmm. now, if you realize how the power that you have in God and, and what God has done for you, and you value your birthright, you value your inheritance, you value your anointing, yes. you value your peace, you value your joy, you won't let it go for a fleeting a moment of pleasure. You won't let it go for, for some for some jive turkey. <laughs> now I'm getting mad up in here. I gotta move on. Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. Go ahead, Pastor Reed. <laughs> Hallelujah. That they may receive forgiveness of sin. Now notice, this is why you are been called. So that people can receive what? Forgiveness For, of sin. That's huge. Amen. You yeah. want people to, to receive forgiveness of yeah. sin. Yeah. Yeah. Read. And inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Amen. So you want them not only to receive forgiveness of sins, but you also want them to receive their inheritance. Yes. Amen. Ain't that a lot Amen. for a calling? Yes. Huh? That's the calling that is upon our lives. Amen. That's why we got to walk worthy of it. Yes. Hallelujah. Based on everything God has done for us and based on everything that he wants us to do for him. Yes. Hallelujah. That's a lot. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord. And, and we've got to walk worthy of that. Yes. Amen? Yes. We've got to walk worthy of that. It ain't all about me. Mm -hmm. It's about him. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Jesus. If he don't give us nothing else, he's given us enough. Amen? Uh, amen? amen. Hallelujah. But, amen. but you know God, he's going to continue to do stuff for you. Oh, yeah. He's going to continue to make a way for you. Yes. He's going to continue to open up the door windows of heaven yes. and pour you out blessings. Yes. But what I'm saying is, if he don't do enough, if he don't do anything else, he's done enough. Yeah. Amen? Amen? For us to serve. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And you know, my mind often goes to, to that inheritance. Amen? That inheritance is great. Mm -hmm. That inheritance is mighty. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't compare to what this world has to offer. Hallelujah, because he hasn't revealed it all uh, to no man or no woman. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, so what God has in store for us is a mystery. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And I guarantee you, you won't be dissatisfied. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me tonight? Yes. So the Lord, uh, that verse uh, number one. Jeez, that's all we got. We got down to three. Oh, did we? Mm -hmm. All right. Read verse number two. He said, walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. With all lowliness uh -huh. and meekness. Now he's telling you how to do it. Do it with all lowliness and meekness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, with all lowliness and meekness, read that, Pastor. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, uh -huh. forbearing one another in love. Now, now this is huge. He's saying this so that you can walk this way in your relationship with God. God first. Right? God first. So with God, I gotta walk with him in all lowliness and meekness. Yeah. Meaning I got to walk with him, submitting myself to him. Yeah. I mean, you know how sometimes we think we know more than God? Yeah. Uh, no, sometimes we think we got a better plan than God? Yeah. Uh, but, but, but is that the truth? No. No, 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 no. So I got to walk with God in all uh, lowliness. Yeah. I got I to gotta walk with him in humbleness. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And meekness. Yeah. Uh, you with me? Yes. Uh, because God knows more than I do. Yes, His thoughts are not my thoughts. Amen. His ways are not your ways. Hallelujah. Amen. His thoughts are so high above you yes. uh, as is the heaven is from the earth. Yeah. Amen. His ways are so far from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, your ways. You mess it up all the time. Yes. Uh, but God gets it right all the time. Yes. Uh, so that's how you got to, if you're going to walk worthy of your vocation, that's how you've got to humble yourself mm -hmm. and submit yourself with all lowliness. Yes. Amen? Yes. With all meekness. Amen? Amen? Amen. And, and with all what? Long suffering. Long -suffering. Yes. Amen? Yes. Meaning that when, when, as you're walking with God, mm -hmm. everything ain't going to be a bed of roses. Everything is not going to be easy. It's not meant to be easy. It's not meant to be a bed of roses. Amen? No. Uh, because if it was, he wouldn't have gave you the Holy Ghost uh, and the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. which is gentleness, meekness, long-suffering, faith, temperance, mm -hmm. amen, and joy. Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't have gave you all that yeah. uh, if it was going to be easy. Mm -hmm. God never said it was going to be easy. Yeah. Only thing he said was going to be easy was his yoke. Uh, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen? Yeah. amen? Hallelujah. So you got to walk with God in all long suffering. Yes. Uh, because in that suffering, my God, I feel like teaching it up in here. In that suffering, God is, God is revealing himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not only to you, but those around you. Hallelujah. People got to see your faith. Uh, people got to see your God. Uh, and they see your God by faith that is in you. Hallelujah. So you got to put God on display. Yes. And sometimes that takes some long suffering. Yes. Hallelujah. So that, so that people yes. hallelujah, will know yes. 
uh, that there is a God in Israel. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, so that they can know that there is a God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, that is a deliverer. Yeah. That there is a God. That is a mountain mover. So that there is a God that is a healer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you got to go through some stuff. Yeah, hallelujah. Uh, Joseph went through some stuff, didn't he? Hallelujah. He went up, down, up, down. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. He went from pillar to post, didn't he? Hallelujah. And then in the final conclusion, hallelujah, when, when God blessed Joseph to give the revelation about how to keep Israel alive, they said, let the God of Joseph be our God. Hey, hallelujah. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, when, when Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego uh, didn't, when they got thrown in the fiery furnace, and when they came out of the fiery furnace, they made a decree. Yeah. They said that, that everybody worshiped the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego uh, because they went through something. When you go through something, uh, when you come out, they're going to say, I'm going to worship the lowest duck God. I'm going to worship Mary Davis God. I'm going to worship Sister Jackie God. I'm going to worship that kind of old shot, that kind of shot. Hallelujah. Thank God. Let thank God be the God. That kind of old shot, that kind of shot. God makes himself known. That kind of shot through your faith. Right, and people got to see your faith. Hallelujah. So don't give up. Don't give in. Amen. Be long suffering. Yes, that's right. Amen. Because yes. he, he, he gave you that spirit yes. of long suffering, yes. which is that patience yes. uh, to endure. Yes. Uh, and endure hardness. How? Like a good soldier. Uh, don't be a baby person. Uh, don't be baby self. Uh, you whining and complaining. Uh, you you in a foxhole with some people that need to be delivered. They whining and complaining. And then you turn around and whine and complain. Yeah. What help y'all gonna get? No. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody gotta have some sex. Somebody gotta be strong. Somebody gotta call on the Lord. Somebody gotta wanna see Jesus. That come on, shut. That come on, Hallelujah. Somebody gotta get some glory. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Come on and just give the Lord a praise. Mind made up, heart fixed, long suffering, hey, patience, endurance. Oh, hey, hallelujah. Put on Christ. Amen. Put on Christ. Now, let's get it on. Now, put on Christ. Put on the whole armor of God so that you can be able to stand. Amen. Stand. Hallelujah. Stand there for uh, Having your loins girt about with truth. Stand. Hallelujah. Put on that helmet of salvation. Blessed prey of righteousness. Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh, taking the shield of faith. Uh, to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Let's get it on. I am a shot. Taking the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. I just slay everything yeah. that, that pisses against the wall. That kind of old shot. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God ain't yeah. raised you to be a chump. Yeah. He ain't raised you to be a jelly yeah. bat. Yeah. That kind of old shot. Yeah. Ain't no weakness in him. Right. Ain't no darkness in him. Yeah. Uh, ain't no failure yeah. in him. Oh, and we in him, yeah. the hope of glory. Yeah. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Yeah. That kind of old shot. We got to be witnesses. Hallelujah. We got to go through some stuff to be a witness. Right, so that people can declare your God uh, as the God that is able to save, that is able to deliver. Hallelujah. My God. You know, I'm gonna, it's, it's a true fact. Thank you, Jesus. It's a true fact. Thank you, Lord. When, when, when I was looking for help, when I was uh, uh, doing drugs and, and, and reefers and and, and drinking beer, all that kind of stuff. And I got tired of that lifestyle. 
Huh? And and AA, AA was available to me. Yeah. Huh? I could have went there, but but I was working with them folk yeah. that that was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. So in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm gonna go get some help from them, yeah. and they're doing the same thing. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere where people are making a difference. Amen. People want to see somebody making a difference. And that's you. Now God has called you to make a difference. Hallelujah. So I went to a meeting one night. Hey, <laughs> got My heart wasn't right. My neighbor was making a difference. Amen. And I sat in my bed when I was uh, waddling around. Lord, I want to be like him. Amen. Hallelujah. I want what he got. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Brother David Riley. Yeah. He was my next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. I want what he got. Because he was making a difference. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what God, that's a witness. Now you making a difference. Yeah. And when people get in trouble, which they will, they'll call on your God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Thank you, Lord. I told him, man, I need to go to church. Yeah. Huh? And, and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. I ain't even had the Holy Ghost, but it spoke to me. He said, it's Wednesday, it's Bible class night, you go to church. Yeah. I, I, it was, I said, Dave, I want to go to church. Amen. He said, I'll pick you up. Mm -hmm. Hang it off. We went to church, mm -hmm. huh? and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But he was living it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. He was walking worthy of the vocation. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Notice the scriptures. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. What that means is when, when, when I cause your rebellious life to line up with God to receive peace, then I'm God's child for real. Amen? I'm a child of God. Amen? When you live a life to cause others to, to become at peace with God, huh? thank you, Lord, then you become a peacemaker would you become a child of God? Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's move on, Pastor. Uh, let's go uh, back over uh, to Ephesians 4 and 2. He says, with all loneliness. And meekness. Uh-huh. With long suffering. Yes. Forbearing one another in love. Now, this is the key to this particular chapter. Because in chapter number 3, he talked about us receiving the love of Christ. Amen? Let's go there real quick. Ephesians 3? Yeah, Ephesians 3. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Uh, drop down to... Is it 19? Ah, yeah, it is. But, <laughs> but we want to hit... Uh, let's hit 17. Okay. Yeah, but you're right there. That's where it's at. Go ahead, read. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. Now notice, he's saying that you, the reason why you got to forbear one another in love, that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. Notice, he wants you to be rooted and grounded in love. In love. Amen. Amen. Why? Because love beareth all things. Yes. Love hopeth all things. Love endureth all things. Amen? And we can go on and on. God is what? Love. Amen? So you got to be rooted and grounded in it. Amen? Now notice what he said. Read. May be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. Now notice, he's saying that he wants you to be so rooted. And this, and this literally is impossible. Uh, because you can't uh, literally search out the depths or the love of God. No. But you got to try. You, you got to go after it. That's what he's literally after here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go after finding out what is the depth, the length, and the height. Amen. Of the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Try to, try to go after it to understand it. Amen. And if, if you are more focused in that, then you're not focused on sin. You're not focused on backbiting. 
Uh, you're not focused on worldliness. Yeah. Amen. You literally set your affections on things above. Yeah. Huh? That's what God wants. That's God doesn't want us to be concerned about all of this down here. No. Seek ye first the kingdom of God yeah. and his righteousness yeah. and everything down here. He'll add it to you. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about it. No. 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 You ain't got to be anxious for nothing. No. No. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. But seek after God. Seek after the love of God. Hallelujah. Tell God, I want to know the depths. Yeah. I want to know the height. Yeah. Yeah, I want to know the breadth. Yeah. I want to know the light. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Of why Christ loved me. Yeah. Hey, kind of old shot. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. If, you, if you focus more on those things, yeah. huh? like the scripture says, walk in the spirit yeah. and you won't fulfill the desires or the lust of the flesh. Yeah. If you're more focused on the things of God, then the things of this world will have no bondage over you. Uh, you won't be enslaved to them. Amen? Amen. Uh, you'll be enslaved to Christ. Yes. Uh, you'll be his bond servant. Amen. And that word bond servant means that he freed you, but you refuse to go anywhere and you want to stick with him. That's, that's a bond servant. Amen? You get emancipated. Hallelujah. But you realize he's the best thing that ever happened. Hallelujah. So you want to stick with him. Yeah. Uh, of your own volition. Hey, you submit to him. Yeah. Of your own volition, you walk it with him. Yeah. Uh, that's what God wants. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, God don't make you stay with him. No. Hey, hallelujah. You stay with him because he's good. Yeah, you stay with him because he's gracious. Yeah. You stay with him because there's nowhere else to go. You stay with him because he's your all in all. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. That, you know, oh my God, I feel like talking about it. Y'all got to forgive me. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. But see, that's what made Paul dangerous. Mm -hmm. Because he realized that uh, uh, whether I'm living this life, uh, uh, whether I die is gain, right. or whether I go to heaven is gain. Yeah. Uh, because either way, I'm with Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and either way, I'm blessed. Yeah. Uh, we've got to think that way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whatever happens that happens, I'm still blessed. Yeah. Uh, I'm still on top. Hallelujah. Why? Because God is with me. Yeah. Uh, and he won't leave me. He won't forsake me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's how I got to be your mind. Yeah. All right, let's talk about this love thing. What does he say? 19. Uh-huh. And to know the love of Christ. Yes. Which pass of knowledge. Uh-huh. That you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now notice, notice. This is, this is what God is after. Amen. He wants you to know the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's what we should be seeking after. Yeah. Searching after. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And when we seek after that, and we search after that, we'll be filled with the fullness of God. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. That because because with Christ, God put everything in Him. Yes, He did. Uh, even us in Him. Yes. His great and precious promises are in Him. Amen. Redemption is in Him. Yeah. In him. Peace is in Him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And when we get into Him and search out his love, the depths of his love, then we receive something. Yeah. The fullness of God. Amen. Amen. We'll be satisfied yeah. with him. Yeah. We'll be full with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that comes through love. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Seeking after love. Uh -huh. Amen. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the peace. I'm reading our head now, Jesus. In the bond of love. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Love is a great thing. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, you got to love God yes. because God so loved you yes. that he gave yes. his love, yes. his only begotten son, yes. that whosoever believes in him should not be separated from him, that's perish, but have everlasting life, Amen. that to be enjoined with God forever. Yes. Amen? Amen. All right, let's move on. Let's go back. Oh, read that, Pastor. 19. Uh, and to know the love of Christ, uh -huh. which passeth knowledge, yes. that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now notice what he says. That's why I said that when he said we may comprehend the depth, the length, mm -hmm. uh, and the breadth, and the height, mm -hmm. 
Notice what he said here. It passes knowledge. Yes. You won't be able to fully attain the depth, the height, the length. Mm -hmm. Amen. The love that is in Christ Jesus. No. It's right. boundless. Yep. But his desire is for you to go after it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Go after Amen. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And as you go after it, the Bible tells us that God will impute righteousness unto you. Yes. Right? As you go after it, God will give you extra. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all yeah. <laughs> don't hear me. God will give you extra. Yeah. Because notice, he's a rewarder mm -hmm. huh? to them that what? Yeah. Dil if you diligently seek him, God will reward you for your effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. God yeah. will bless you for your effort. Amen? Amen. Uh, you'll be fooled with his fullness. Yes. That's what you want. Amen? Amen? That comes through a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes. The more you know yes. about Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the more of God's fullness you'll have. Amen? Amen? Amen. Let me say that again. Yes. The more you know about Jesus, the more fullness of the fullness of God will you have. Because he put everything in Jesus. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. No Jesus, no peace. No Jesus, no joy. No Jesus, no strength. No Jesus, no power. No Jesus, no deliverance. No Jesus, no victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Help me here, Holy Ghost. Help me here, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Every victory is in Jesus. Every victory that you experience, it came from Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. The three major victories is, is, is the victory over Satan, the victory over sin, and the victory over death. Those are the three major victories. But there's some also some other victories. He gives you the victory over over uh, sickness and disease. Amen? Amen. Uh, that's another victory yeah. that comes from Jesus. Yeah. Amen? Uh -huh. He gives you victory even over your, 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 yourself. That's, right. <laughs> Amen. Uh, that's a major victory. Amen. Uh, he gives you victory over strongholds. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Uh, he gives you victory over grief mm -hmm. and pain and sorrow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. By God. Everything you need is in Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Gives you victory over poverty. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. He's going to minister to you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You can be broke, busted, and disgusted. Yeah. But when Jesus gets done ministering yeah. to you, you're on a mountaintop. Yeah. Hey! Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Shut the Lord. Shut Hallelujah. By God. Won't he pull you out of the pit of hell? Hallelujah, my God. My God. He put purpose in your life, won't he? Yes, he Hallelujah. All right. Let's read that, Pastor. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, uh -huh. forbearing one another in love. All right. Forbearing one another in love. In love. Now, the reason why we read that, thank you, Pastor. You're keeping me on track. I appreciate that. <laughs> the reason why we read that is that. We've got to bear one another in love. Yeah. Amen. And the only way, oh, I feel like this. I feel the Holy Ghost. No. The only way to really bear one another in love, no. you've got to get to the depths and be rooted in love. Yeah. Uh, you've got to be in, rooted in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You've got to be rooted in him mm -hmm. to forbear people in love. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now, I ain't got to forbear you if we walking in agreement. And you ain't my enemy. You ain't said nothing crazy to me. Amen. You follow me? Uh, I ain't gotta forbear you. Uh, but 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 those that are saying stuff crazy to you, those that oppose you, that come up against you, you don't fight them. You you forbear them. How? In love. Amen. Because they they were enemies just like you were. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And they were strangers and foreigners just like you were. Right. Amen. But notice what Paul said, uh, walking uh, worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Mm -hmm. What is your calling? To turn them mm -hmm. 
from darkness to light, yes. from the power of Satan unto God. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. So that they can receive an inheritance among them that are sanctified, yes. uh, which is you. Yes. Amen? Yes. So, so, so he delivered them from the, the people. Amen? Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. huh? uh, uh, to whom now he sent them back. Amen? Y'all follow me? Yeah. So if you're going back to the people that, that hate you, that you got delivered from, mm -hmm. you got to operate with them in love. Yeah. Huh? And that's the, got to be the love of Christ. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Can't be no superficial love. No. No. Amen? You can't be singing with, uh, what's the name said, what love got to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't be singing that. Uh, T, there you go, Tina Turner. I like old Tina Turner, yeah. especially when she got a wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, <laughs> Lord forgive me. But you know, I like to see people try out. <laughs> but, 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 it's not a secondhand emotion. No. It's the only emotion. Amen. That really matters. Amen. Now abide in faith, hope, and charity. The greatest of these three is charity. Amen. All right, read. What's it say? There is one God of no, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. All right, now notice. This is key. This is why we got to walk worthy of our uh, kingdom assignments. If you want to have peace, if you want to have unity in the church, then the Bible says every joint supply of strength one to another. Amen. Follow me? So, so what brings about unity is everybody walking in their assignments. Amen? Amen. If people aren't walking in their assignments, then they won't, we won't have unity. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You follow me? Why? Because I need what Sister Jackie has. I need yeah. what Pastor Duck has. I need what, 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 what my sister have. I need yeah. it all over the all over the room. I need it. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And and no man or woman is an island. No. no. Amen. I no. need what you got. Amen. Uh, every joint supply of strength. Yeah. So when you walking in your assignment, mm -hmm. whenever I need to come pluck from your tree, yeah. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be fresh fruit. Yeah. It won't be rotten. Uh, it won't be spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It won't have a snake in it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Uh, it'll be full of goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be full of strength. Yeah. It'll be full of the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh, it'll edify me. Yeah. It will build me up. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And that's how God styled it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's why He said, Notice. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit mm -hmm. in the bond of peace. Mm -hmm. The bond of peace, the bond, think of a bond. Amen? Mm -hmm. The bond of peace is love. Yes. The Bible says what holds everything together is love. Mm -hmm. Amen? Love is the glue Amen. that holds things together. Amen. People go through stuff because they love that individual. Amen? Amen. That's what holds the family together. Yeah. Families go through some rocky stuff, don't they? Yeah. Not everything in everybody's family is sweet and rosy. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. But love keeps them together. Yeah. Amen? Even when you read the Bible, the story of the Bible, mm -hmm. God doesn't hide the wickedness that is in the Bible between the families. Mm -hmm. Amen? Huh? Oh. Uh, God doesn't hide that. Yeah. Why? Because love is enough yeah. to hold it together. Yeah. Amen. I, I'm ashamed of some stuff that happens in our family. Yeah. I'm sure you're ashamed of some stuff that happened in your family. Amen. Amen. But but what keeps you together is love. Uh, uh, but why? It bears all things. Yeah. It endures all things. Mm -hmm. uh, it waits for a change. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What the world need now, as that song said, is love, sweet love. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Makes a difference. All right, read. Where we at? Four. Uh -huh. There is one body. One body. And one spirit. Now, now he's, he's really relating here to the oneness. Amen? Now, this oneness is dealing with how God made us acceptable in Christ. 
There's no difference between Jew and Gentile. Amen. No difference between male or female. Amen. Amen. We're all one in him. Amen. Amen. No big eyes, no, no little U's. No. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, read. What's it say? There's, There's one body. One body. That Amen. body is who? Jesus. Amen. Now, the body Amen. of Christ, Amen. which we're all a part of. Mm -hmm. Read. And one spirit. That one spirit is the Holy Ghost, Amen. which he made us all to drink from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> read. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Now, we already explained what that one hope of your calling is. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That one hope of your calling is to carry out God's assignment in your life. Amen? To carry out God's assignment in your life. That's why God called you. That's why God predestinated you. That's why God sent Jesus to bless you so that you can carry out the assignment of God that he has for you in your life. We should focus on, God, what would you have me to do? What is my assignment? What is the goal? Because in that, that's where all your blessings lie. That's where all your deliverance lies. Amen? That's where all your strength lies. That's where all your power lies. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Go, go with me over here to, uh, let's look at Ephesians Go back to verse number one. Chapter number one, I'm sorry. Chapter number one. When you have it, say amen. Amen. Chapter number one and verse number four. We're talking about the hope of his call. Read. According as he hath chosen us in him uh -huh. before the foundation of the world. Yes. That we should be holy. And without blame before him in love. That's God's hope for you. Amen. When he called you before the foundation of the world, God's hope in you is that you be holy. <laughs> be holy, for I'm holy. Right? Be holy without blame before God, and you're standing how? In love. In love. Rooted and grounded in love. That's God's hope. Amen. Y'all with me? Read. Amen. Back in Ephesians 4. No, no, no. Uh, continue to read there. Oh, all right. uh -huh. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, uh -huh. to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Now, God has made us accepted in Christ Jesus. Therefore, that's that oneness that he's talking about. Amen? You're no longer a foreigner. You're no longer a stranger. But you're one with God. You're part of the household of faith. Amen? Amen? Now, drop down to verse number 10. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, uh -huh. he might gather together in one yes. all things in Christ, yes. both which are in heaven yes. and which are on earth. Now, where are you at? Earth. 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 He's, he's want to gather you together. Mm -hmm. Amen. One day we're going to be gathered together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Read. Even in him. Even in who? In Christ Jesus. That's, that's that hope. That God has. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. So we can be gathered together. Read. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Uh huh. Being predestinated according to the purpose of Him yes. who worketh all things after the counsel of His own will. Read. That we should be to the praise of His glory. Yes. Who first trusted in Christ. That's, that's God's hope. That you would live this life, that you be the praise of his glory. Amen? Amen. You got to live this thing to honor God. Amen? Be the praise of his glory. Amen? That way, if you're walking worthy of the vocation, you're not backbiting. Right. You're not lying. Right. You're not stealing. Right. You're not fornicating. Right. Amen? Amen? Why? 
I, 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 I walk into the place of his glory. Yeah. Those things don't honor God. No. We doing everything to honor him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Your Amen. lifestyle should be a symphony that honors God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Right. We teaching up in here. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Symphony. Yes. That honor my words honor God. Yes. My thoughts honor God. Mm -hmm. huh? Even when I'm sleeping, I'm honoring God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I was making breakfast. I'm honoring God. Yes. Huh? You with me? Yes. I'm washing the car. I'm honoring God. Yes. Everything I do. Yes. I'm singing songs to Zion. Yes. I'm honoring God. I'm yes. praising yes. Him. Yes. Can't wait to worship Him. Yes. Honoring God. Yes. Amen? Yes. My clothes that I wear, I'm honoring God. Yes. Amen? Amen. Y'all see some people with some funky stuff on? <laughs> Amen. And, and you'll be like, what the, what the, what the? Uh, and then they, they want to say praise the Lord. You know? Praise the Lord. Get you some clothes on. You miss it, you're missing some stitches. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, you follow what I'm saying? Amen. That'll honor God. No. Hallelujah. Honor everything you do honors God. Yeah. So that you can, that's that's the hope of your calling. Yeah. Huh? That's why we're back here in this. Yes. Amen. That's the hope of your calling. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to honor God in everything. That work you honor in God. Yes. Amen. No matter where you at, you honor in God. Mm -hmm. If you have that kind of mindset, then you'll be like Jesus, the same today, yesterday, and forever. Mm -hmm. You won't be like some people uh, at church, they're one way, mm -hmm. and at home, they're a whole another way. You won't be like that. No. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's a, that's a what kind of man? Oh, jeez. Somebody teaching me. Double-minded man is what? Unstable. They're untrustworthy. All he said, sis. All they ways. Amen? You don't want to be like that. All right? Let's go back. We connected dots. Verse 4. Uh-huh. There's one body. There's one body. And one spirit. And one spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. And now we just explored what that hope of your calling is. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that happens all through one body, one spirit, and one hope. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Right. Read. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. And one baptism. Amen. One Lord, which is Jesus. Amen. One faith, which comes through Jesus. Mm -hmm. huh? And one baptism. There he's talking about water baptism. Yes. Yes. Amen. Because there's actually two baptisms. Mm -hmm. There's a baptism of the water, and there's a baptism of the spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. But here he's talking about water baptism. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. One God and Father of all. Huh? But one God... And, 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 and Father of all. Father of all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read. Who is above all. Above all. And through all. Through all. And in you all. My, my, my. Lord, help us. Yeah. Remember we talked about that mm -hmm. earlier? That God is in you? Yes. Yeah. Amen. God is in you. Amen. If his spirit is residing in you, he's in you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the holiness spirit is in you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, and he dwelleth in you. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Read. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Now, every one of us now, this is going to be the conclusion because the Lord told me already I wasn't going to get through this whole chapter today. Amen. But read that verse again. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Now, God supplies you the grace to walk worthy of his vocation. He told Paul, my grace is what? Sufficient. Sufficient. Yep, for thee. My strength is made what? Perfect. Complete in what? Your weakness. Your weakness. Yes. 
Let the weak say I'm strong. strong. And, and, and strong where? In the Lord. And in the what? Power of his might. Hallelujah. So, so whatever comes your way, his grace is that he's given you as, has already empowered you or equipped you to deal with it, mm -hmm. to handle it. Yes. Amen? Amen? And his grace is more than enough. Yes, it is. Now, you may say this. Pastor Quinn, why are you reminding me of this? Because when we're going through, we forget this. Yeah. <laughs> huh? uh -huh. yeah. When we're going through, sometimes we lose our mind. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. we, think, we think it's all over. This is it. Like Fred Sanford, this is the big one. Uh, I'm coming, I'm going to come to see you. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Sometimes we go through it. We say, Lord, just kill me now. Just kill me now. I'm, 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 I'm tired of it. Just kill me, Lord. I don't mind if I die. Huh? God minds if you die. <laughs> if you die, he can't get no glory. He can't get no praise. He can't get no worship. <laughs> And don't fool yourself. Not only does God want people to worship him while, while you're going through it, he wants you to worship him. Uh, while he wants to see the fruit of your lips. Uh, he wants to hear you praise him. He wants to see you magnify him. He wants to see you say, nevertheless, uh, not my will, but what? Thy will be done. Uh, and he's given you, remember this, beloved, he's given you a measure of grace. Amen? Now, notice what he said. Read that verse again, Pastor. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of God now, Christ. Now, it's a, it's a measure of his grace. The only one that had the fullness of his grace is Jesus. <laughs> you follow me? Yeah. Because why? He was getting ready to taste death for every man. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't, you don't need that kind of grace. <laughs> you ain't going to taste death for everybody. No. Uh, but whatever you're going to taste, he's already measured it out so it can be more than enough. Y'all yes. <laughs> going to catch that when y'all driving home. Hallelujah. It's more than enough. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't handle the fullness of his grace. That kind of old shot. So he gives you a measure uh, that makes it more than enough. Hallelujah. So, so you can walk through here. So you can lift up your bow down here. So that you can strengthen your feeble knees. So that you can magnify the God of your salvation. So that you can taste whatever you need to taste. And say, oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Somebody just give God a praise. Hallelujah. I certainly enjoyed the Bible study on today. Hallelujah. Truly, God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. And I don't know if y'all know it. But the Lord was feeding my mind as I was feeding y'all. Hallelujah. Ain't that the way it should be? Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. And thank you, Lord. And as we move from this place, we want to remember that we have Friday night Bibles, uh, Friday night prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord. I kind of made a twist on it. The Lord dealt with me. That first half hour, we want to talk about faith. That next half hour, we want to pray to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And and um, I want you to be able to give the opportunity to give, mm -hmm. to sow seed into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Don't want to block your blessing. Amen. So those that want to give can give through timely. Those that are online, thank you, Lord. You're welcome to do that. So we thank God for each and every one of you. And I want you to tune in to, with us again at 6 o'clock uh, for another outstanding Bible class with the Lord. Yeah. Amen.